Hey Team FXG, hope you're all having a great day. We got a good one here on CAD Swiss Franc. It's really an interesting analysis. And what I really want to focus on is looking for entry at completion of exhaustion rather than a completion of a push. And we'll get to that in just a second. Now we have to be very cautious this week. We have fundamental announcements pretty much all week, especially Thursday leading to Friday with NFP as the icing on the cake. What we really want to do is manage our current open trades. And this analysis, along with others that I've sent to you, we're going to be looking for entry the following week. So on Monday, after we identify what the banks and the central banks have done with their money after NFP, we can then go ahead and look for entry. Now, this is a type of week where new traders or struggling traders will get bit, okay? Some weeks, technicals lead, and some weeks, fundamentals lead. And when we talk about NFP and all the announcements surrounding NFP, usually fundamentals then take the front seat and technicals take the back seat. And it isn't always like that. But in weeks like this, successful traders take a step back, manage the trades, analyze the market, and on Monday, we'll be ready to pull the trigger. Now, I just want to quickly take a moment before we get to analysis to say welcome to all new FXG members. Now, I highly encourage you to communicate on the chat room with other members of the team. We have a lot of talented traders. Now, the important thing to remember is that it's not just about the signals. Team FXG is about growing and learning as a trader. That's why I send a video analysis with every one of my signals so then you identify and understand why I'm looking for that entry. All right, Cat Swiss Frank, starting on the monthly, what do we do as usual? The first thing we do is we identify our zones, horizontal area of significance. We've done just that, and I can also see a nice downtrend with lower highs. So we go ahead and we identify our monthly area sensitivity. Okay, now it's time to make sense of the monthly. Now, we see push and exhaustion cycles all the way down to our monthly zone. Price then broke above this downtrend to the upside. But what we see is that price is playing between its monthly zones. So price is now in consolidation. We know that there's buyers at the bottom and we know that there's sellers at the top. All right, we're still on the monthly here, just taking a look at price action. The first thing I notice is the strong bullish engulfing candle close off our bottom monthly zone. This is telling me there's a lot of buy sensitivity and a lot of buy pressure in the market, keeping price from breaking below this lower zone. There's clearly a lot of interest in keeping price above breaking below. So I do believe that price will have a hard time breaking to the downside. So what we really wanna do is look for plays in between consolidation. Now, before we take it to the weekly, I wanna mention something important. This is a strong bullish engulfing candle close. This is a strong push to the upside. Now, what's after a push? That's right, an exhaustion. So we can expect some type of exhaustion on the lower time frame before that continuational push to the upside. So please keep that in mind when we take it down in time frame. All right, onto the weekly, we're looking for our weekly mid-range zone. Now, I see horizontal sensitivity, okay? So we identified our weekly mid-range. I see lower highs. We identified our weekly downtrend. Okay, so we identified our weekly area sensitivity or area significance, whatever you wanna call it, and it's just time to make sense of things. What's very clear to me, as mentioned before, is that price is not gonna be able to break to the downside. There's a ton of buy pressure at our lower zone keeping price to the upside. We also know that price has been in consolidation for a long time, meaning I'm just looking to play within the consolidation. Okay, so, so here's what I know. This is a bullish engulfing candle close we saw on the monthly. Now, as mentioned, this bullish close is a push. Why? Because it made a strong move to the upside, breaking its weekly zone. This is an area of sensitivity. That means price is tired. It took a lot of energy to make a move of that significance. Now, what's after push? That's right, an exhaustion. So it makes sense that we see this bearish engulfing candle close at the completion of our push because this is just the beginning of exhaustion. So we know that after a push, there's an exhaustion and a continuation of push. That's why winners will always enter a completion of exhaustion. Now, where would the next sensible area of buy sensitivity be? That's right, our weekly mid-range zone. This is likely where the next set of buy orders will be placed. So here we have a push, we see exhaustion, and we're likely gonna see a continuation of push once price reaches its next level of buy sensitivity. So this is great. We're only on the weekly and we already have an idea of what the play is gonna look like. So let's take it down another time frame. Okay, down to the daily. This is entry one, what I require to enter a trade. We're gonna stay patient, wait for price to make a complete and full exhaustion to retest this weekly mid-range zone. Now, what are we gonna see at our weekly mid-range zone? That's right, 
we're gonna see buy sensitivity. So the key to this trade is patience. We let price complete its exhaustion to its weekly mid-range zone. We let it play as much as we want at its weekly mid-range zone and we only then be prepared to pull the trigger once price breaks this downtrend to the upside because we know that's a push. We then wait for exhaustion to retest and price action confirmation to the upside. That would be a bullish engulfing candle close at completion of exhaustion. Now, what would make this trade invalid? Very simple. If price breaks this weekly mid-range zone to the downside, we know that there was not enough buy sensitivity to send price for its next upwards move, which makes this entry invalid. That's it for Cat Swiss Frank. Have a great day, team.